Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth with the Fairy Hugs video design team and you can pick up your fairy hugs at fairystamper.com and the, the links will be in the description below for all of the wonderful stamps that we're going to use today. Um, we're pulling out both the hanging vines, one of the lantern set, the corner ivy, the rock formation, and the leafy stalks. And with those lovely foliage, we're also going to play with the beautiful peacock. So we're going to need to pull that one out. Now, sometimes we have an idea, but we're not quite sure if it's going to work or not. So we're going to grab our um, scrap paper, copy paper, something that's not very expensive. And we're going to just kind of play around and see how that looks. For my stamping, I just use my old Memento. Um, I upgraded from Memento to VersaFine Claire and Nocturne. This gives a better quality stamping. And since I didn't just want to throw this away, I use this as my demo to see what's going to happen. And we're going to try and create this. Now, today, we're not going to use any black. We're going to do it all in color. So, on my reverse side, I did some swatching to make sure that the inks would show up over my ink blended background. And all of the lovely little goodies that we're going to... Um, stamp out to make sure everything's gonna you know hopefully turn out good so this is kind of what we're gonna try to achieve but in color so for today's project I'm upgrading my paper and we're gonna do a five by seven now I've taken a five by seven panel and I've already trimmed a quarter inch off the top and a quarter inch off the side. So now we have a perfect fitting um, panel that will give us a nice white border all the way around. We're gonna go ahead and put our card base to the side and we can get started. Now with the peacock and the rock, I went ahead and made the masking. Now I am using the Gina K Magic Mask, Masking Magic, sorry, Masking Magic, and I stamped it and then trimmed it out. So we have this, and um, I didn't need her little tootsies, and I cut off the little plumage because that was a little too detailed to be trimming, but they'll be fine when we go to stamp over them. Because on here, when I stamp them, you can definitely see the pattern of the rock behind there, and we don't want that. We want a nice crisp, uh, the plumage for the peacock, and then over here, I want my leaves behind the rock. So I want the rock to stand out. So that's why we're going to mask those two images off. Okay, so first thing is first, we are going to stamp we're going to stamp this guy and that's so that we can get the color down because once we color it with color pencil it's going to become like a little resist so we're going to stamp this very first and then we're going to do the peacock and the rock and then we'll do some ink blending and stamping so we're going to set this in here we're going to have make sure our peacock Here's here's a big thing. We got to make sure. Let's get her off the the block so my block's not in the way when I stamp the other one. Woo, super sticky. So we want to make sure the peacock is going to be on the full page, okay? And then we can kind of see where we want this. And I'm thinking I'm going to move it up a little so that last ring will actually stamp off the page. And yeah, I think, and then we'll fill that all in with the plumage and then she'll be on her little rock here. And then we'll fill in the rest with um, foliage. 
and it will hide the bottom right there because these leaves will be in front and then we'll go around so yeah that should do just fine okay so we're gonna i'm actually gonna go ahead and leave her there make sure you guys can see everything all right and i'm just gonna stamp this in brown nothing nothing fancy about this because i'm gonna cover most all of this up with colored pencil so i just want to make sure that it is right there nice even pressure let the ink meld with your paper and lift away and i'm okay that it's a little choppy and blotchy because like i said we are going to cover that with colored pencil so i'm going to grab my peacock here and we are going to stamp her in a blue I should probably not set anything on that are all nice and inky okay and I just picked a, a pretty blue that I liked out of my collection of stamps or stamping inks okay oops 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 I almost forgot we got to wipe off her little feet though because we don't want them to overlap our rock okay there we go Just stamp her down or him. I think the prettier birds are, are the males. So stamp that down. Woohoo! Beautiful. Give that a little wipe because I will be needing an extra block for some of my other foliage. So we'll switch that out. Okay, so here comes our first little mask because we want to make sure we cover that up nice and beautiful. And sometimes these can be a little tricky, but if you can get something pokey between the layers, then we can gently pull. Okay, oh, that one had a split. That's all right. Let's peel that. Now, when I make my masks, I cut inside the line so that a little bit of the original stamp will show through, and that will help with your blending. Okay, because if you cut right up to the line, you're going to have a white halo. So, you do want a little teeny bit of your stamping to show through. And it's super low tack, so don't panic if it doesn't stick the right way the first time. There we go. It's really being a little testy today. Maybe if I line up right there. That's better. Okay. There we go. And now we're going to stamp the upper half of the rock. Okay, because I don't need a ton of it, just most of it. And we're gonna do that in brown. Okay, make sure that's about what we need. And if a little shows through, that's gonna be okay. That looks good. And I'm going to, I'm going to pull this closer to me so that I can see the top of my, um, we want the top of our rock formation to be at the bottom of her feet. Okay. And if they overlap a little, that will be okay. And I don't want this hole to show. So I'm going to make sure that's over the, the feathers and just stamp that right there. 
nice and firm pressure. And then we gently peel so we don't peel that off. And we have a lovely stamping and it looks like I got it pretty close. Okay, give that a little wiping. Put on one of our little doodads there. Actually switch this one out. Which one is longer? Oh, they're the, both the same. But I can put this one on crooked. And then we'll put the shorter one on the short block. All right, so our blocks are ready to go. Oops. And I'm just going to dab up some of this ink that is on the mask. Don't have to, but I just, I get my hands in it and get ink everywhere. So I like to clean up when I can or when I remember, because inevitably I always forget and get my hands in it. Okay. Okay. And then we're just going to poke something right in the middle and peel away. Okay. And down that goes. Okay. Now, we don't mind blue and green mixing, so we're going to go ahead and ink blend this. Oops, no we're not. <laughs> Got to make our little um, resist. Almost forgot. Today, I am going to go ahead and use my Square Brut Ferner colored pencils. And I'm just going to pick some colors that I think might look good with this. And that would go over the brown. And so here I've got number 102. And I'm just going to go right over all of the lovely lines. Nothing fancy. All right, so we have that all done. And now we are going to grab just a dark blue ink. And I'm using a foam blender today. And I'm just gonna lay in some color. I'm gonna go dark on my corners and lighten up as I enter more of the page. I'm thinking maybe I should ink the bottom in a green. Not something that I planned for, but I think it will look better. So I'm going to switch out my sponges and grab a green one. Just get that nice and inky again, dark at the corners. Blending is practice and patience. Oh, look at that. Got a nice beautiful green into our blue. And then the colored pencil resist. It's going to look beautiful. Okay, I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. All nice and clean and I've got my stamps already most of them on the stamping blocks and then I've got my three varieties of green that I have available for me and down here I'm going to use the same color the darkest one I have and I'm just gonna ink up my corner ivy just get all nice and happy and then just start stamping some leaves down there now these will all look like they're behind the peacock and the rock okay and even though it's a corner ivy you do not have to use it in the corner 
as you can see we're just gonna stamp it all over and that's what I'm gonna do just stamp it all over down here and fill it all in and don't panic if it doesn't stamp okay and that is because of the masking and I didn't push quite hard enough that's all right because I can just take another little bit just gonna put that right there and then turn it put right there Ooh, come here. and then it becomes a nice rich green filled area these little guys wiped up did some cleaning and then re swapped out my stamps here and I'm gonna do these ones in the lighter color and then these in the middle green that I have and again just make sure it's all nice and inky Okay, and then just drop these down. Ooh, I think it's looking pretty darn good. All right, so we're gonna clean up one more time. I'll be right back. All nice and tidy now. We are going to do some little bit of blinging out or spicing it up just a tad I do really like how it turned out I think it's really pretty I just think it needs a little bit of sparkle and then we also need to color our rock and our peacock so let's get those peeled off and I'm almost peeling them off in the wrong order we got to get the rock off first Okay. Now you don't have to throw these away. Um, I used one piece of masking magic <laughs> like seven times. You just, all that ink, for some reason, it doesn't really soak through. And so you're able just to build it up and build it up. And then you just add it to your packaging for whatever you cut it out for. And then you've got it for a few more stampings. Um, say like you needed to make like five of these cards well you just do the masking and stamping and switch them out and you're good to go so there's my peacock one it's gonna go right there and see there's my little fox from a while ago it's still hanging in there oops don't smoosh it there we go Look at those nice and beautiful white lines stayed intact oh so pretty okay let's grab let's fill in this brown and get ourselves a nice looking rock and you can just grab a handful of browns lights mediums darks reddish browns purpley browns whatever you feel like i'm gonna go over the whole thing very sketchy. I'll bring you down so you can see. I am not coloring it in all over, but my rock is kind of flat, so I'm not doing a lot of arching with my coloring. Here I will. There's some arching. Just get the, the color in there. Nice and light. I'm going to go in with another one. And again, very scratchy because rocks are not one color. They're not a solid sheet. Okay. Just add some color, not, not actually blending, just letting the colors sit on top of each other. Now this one, I'm going to go in where some of those white spots are and focus the color there.
I don't mind if it goes over a little onto some of the other colors. Okay, now I've got a nice dark one. And this one, I'm just going to follow the lines that are already there. And just kind of scuff them up. Elongate them, however you want to highlight them with this nice dark color. And my coloring didn't color very, or stamping didn't stamp very good right there. So I'm just going to fix that. Ta-da! And again, very scratchy motions. Just kind of follow along where they've got marks. And there we have it. Now, the beautiful peacock, I think, needs to be shimmery and beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a green. I'm not sure which one, though. Maybe this one. Just do a little test down here. Yeah, I like it. So now we're just going to, everywhere, there's a white solid line. Just going to make it green. You can do pink or purples, reds, blues, any color you want for your peacock. And I will go ahead and zoom through this for you guys. See you on the other side. So, I went through and just added some touches of white and well, it looks like I should have maybe added some white down here. And since my pins aren't working the way I'd like them to, I'm just dotting these ones and stuff. So I put little white dots just to get it to work. And then same thing, added some white dots up in here. And then went in with the shimmer gel pen just to make it look like this light might be making some fun shimmers on the branches. And it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. You can see I went way out of the line right there. This is all blotchy and scratchy. But it just adds that extra, extra bit of pizzazz. And then down here after tracing in the light green, I went through with the darker blue and just put dots kind of by the dots they already had. I wasn't going to try and fill in all those dots. But we just want to add some extra bling down there. And I think it just turned out really, really good. What do you guys think? Let's get this little beauty on a card base. And I think today we're going to pop this one up. Because I'm really liking it. So we're going to give it a little extra oomph on the card. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this is going to fit nicely. Oh, look at that. Beautiful white border on this 5x7 card base. The card panel, you just cut, like I said, cut a quarter inch off the top, quarter inch off the side. And then you're good to go. So we're just going to add four strips of foam tape. And if you like the stamps that I use today and think they might enhance your collection, um, do stop by fairystamper.com, link down below, and uh, pick up yourself some fairy hugs. Beautiful, beautiful foliage, and peacock. They have some really cute animals. Their new release, they have some cats and dogs some super cute fairies I've got my wish list growing over there um, just waiting on a good payday that I can pick up some of those new stamps so be on the lookout 
And if you like the videos from me, be sure to check out my channel, Elizabeth Costa Rogers on YouTube and hit subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you're new to Fairy Stamper and their Fairy Hugs videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button here and ring the bell and uh, get notified anytime somebody posts a new video for them. There's lots of different designers with different styles. So there's lots of inspiration. They also have Facebook groups where you can share your projects. And they have Instagram also for more inspiration. So what I've done is I've just peeled back half of it. And then the part that's not peeled is what I'm going to place. Okay. Because if you can get three points aligned, okay, then that fourth point up there is going to be beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to get those where I think is even, and then I'm just going to smoosh down that top piece right there. Then I'm going to reach on in here with my little tweezers, whatever you have lying around. If you've got skinny fingers, you can probably just stick your fingers in there and grab that. But we're just going to go like that. I'm going to keep it pulled up, slide that out, and then just let it go. And there we have it. A beautiful card panel and that extra little lift right there. Just, I wish you guys could see it in real life. But there it is. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And we will see you next time on the Fairy Stamper channel. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.